Today we're looking at Dr. Mike's worst skincare mistakes. I'm a pharmacist. Welcome to Track and Tia. The first one is popping pimples. Yes, easier said than done. I'm definitely guilty as charged on this one because technically I do do this once in a blue moon because especially when it's oozing out, just to pop it then to leave it alone. The second one is using hydrogen peroxide or alcohol products. Of course, any kind of harsh chemicals will strip your skin and dry it out of the moisture that you need. And the skin serves as a, a barrier, so you really don't want to do anything that's going to dry out your skin because it will try to compensate by doing kind of like funny things just to juggle out the unexpected things. And in turn, it makes everything worse. Third one is shaving pressure on the skin. So when you put a razor on it, you apply pressure, it leaves kind of like the uneven surface on your skin. Now, if you simply press too hard, instead of doing a light pressure, of course your skin is not like a chopping block. <laughs> So that's unnecessary, I would say, pressure that you really don't need. And that's why when you apply eye cream especially, you use your ring finger. Fourth one is wearing wet clothes. I don't know about wearing a wet bathing suit though. Isn't that kind of the point when you're going swimming anyway? Now, I do agree with that say wet clothes after you have like an intensive workout. It tends to have a lot of sweats and then your skin becomes kind of icky and you do get itchy. So let's let's just not forget excess body oil could lead to acne and can clog your pores. So yes, definitely change out of those workout clothes and don't wear it like all day long. Fifth one is falling for social media trends. Totally agree on this one. Miracles do not happen when you follow like a popular skincare routine or trends on TikTok. When you look at those, or when I look at it, I often say, yikes. Seriously, who in their right mind would say, put cat litter on your face? It just, that's not how normally it's done. And trust me, if the beauty industry can save money by using cat litter, they would have done so a very long time ago. Makes sense to me. I honestly would be emotionally scarred for life, let alone sacrificing my skin. And for what? Views? No thanks. The sixth one is long hot showers. Now, we already covered this in an early video, which I will link in the description box. Well, the point is, Keep showers to a minimum. Definitely don't scorch your skin with extreme temperature. The seventh one is cover your wounds and cuts. Let's say you got a cut on your arm. Personally, for sanitary purposes, I would put a band-aid on it, keep it covered. Now you do not want any kind of bacteria or dust to get on your wound or the area because that possibly could lead to, let's say, infection. The eighth one is Forget skin is the largest organ in your body. Now, this is actually very true. Skin is the largest organ on your body, and therefore, you must take extra care to kind of maintain it, slapping all the goodness back into it instead of drying it out. Number nine, lack of shade or sunblock. I cannot stress this enough. I always repeat this point over and over again in my other skincare videos. Always wear sunblock on a daily basis, okay? Your skin would definitely thank you down the road 10, 15 years from now. Number 10, <laughs> skipping neck portion of your skincare. Now it's true that skincare routine definitely cannot stop at the jawline. If you just apply everything on your face and stop here, it's not going to do much good over time. And I actually have a funny story that someone I actually know actually hold up their neck wrinkle skin like from the back here just to make them appear kind of like plum younger looking. <laughs> it's hilarious, but it actually works. <laughs> well, anyway. Absolutely agree that the neck shows one of the first signs of aging and you definitely should take care of it before it's too late. So definitely like any kind of excess 
uh, moisturizers I have on my hands, I always apply it on my neck. Some companies actually do make neck creams specifically for this purpose. Number 11, too many skincare routines and piling on too many products all at once. Uh, yes and no on this one for me. Yes, because it depends on your skin needs, like let's say Korean skincare routine. And the whole concept is to layer on multiple products. No, it doesn't really work because of all the unnecessary skin products that you think you need or what makes the beauty industry market it towards you and telling you this is what you need. But that's not necessarily true. It doesn't make sense to pile on say 20 different products all at once. If you really should just focus on like targeted concerns for your beautiful skin. Number 12, over exfoliating over and over again. Yes, it results in let's say uneven skin tone. It leaves the skin with redness, irritation, blotchy patches. And again, this is going to dry out your skin even more if you do it on a daily. So definitely be wise when you choose a facial cleanser that has exfoliating features. Number 13, picking on the skin. Now this is kind of similar to the first one where we say popping pimples, but this is more let's say um, like you scratch your skin on a daily or like you have like some kind of scab or you know something weird on your skin that's like a bump you actually would pick at it. So lots of bacteria is actually in your fingernails, right? It could lead to, let's say, inflammation or even infection as well, especially if you don't wash your hands on a rig. The last one, I promise, it's kind of a long list. The last one is number 14, skipping moisturizers. Now, why would you do that, period? I mentioned in my other video, again, that moisturizer Yes, while it's needed, is not as important as serums. But that doesn't mean that you can just skip it all together. Definitely, it's a good idea to keep your skin moist, okay? And that's why skin mist or spray was created in the first place. <laughs> so that's the long answer to the whole list of the worst things that you can do for your skin. On the flip side, there are lots of other things, good things you can do for your skin as well. Make sure you watch my other videos for that. You guys have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.